Hello, welcome into the Revive and Prosper and I'm going to show you the basic feature of our game and how it works. So the main element of the game are those characters. You start always with defined amount of characters on every level. The intention is that you will have something from 1 to let's say 20 characters. So the people that can work for you are actually limited resources and everything they do will take them some time. You will need to take care of them. This is not implemented yet as a feature but it's coming into next major release. And uh, what our intention is that you will need to use the automatization. So when we open here the menu, you can see that we have here some belts that we can build and we have some factories. Those two first factories are manual and this is the first two automatic factories that you need to connect the resources through the belts. And then you can plant some flora and some food and you have some basic elements. We are only like three months in the development in this moment, so uh, there is not so many content, but all the main mechanics as the belts, growing flora and the building and factories and the water. You can see we have like fully flowing water in the level. There is like water source and I can modify the level. I will show you that later after we finish this quick introduction and uh, it's already developed and I think it's uh, we move very far in those three months. So how the game starts, I think that will be the best. So you are in this place, you cannot go out uh, and you don't control directly the characters, but we can say, okay, let's dig this piece of uh, land. They will start to dig and what we will do with that, we're going to build some stairs to be able to go through the elevation. You can see the world is kind of like a voxel world, but it's, I can quickly cancel this work. And we do have here uh, ability not to be on fixed to the voxels, but each uh, ground. And when we will start to dig the resources here, it's the same feature. You can uh, simply get multiple levels. It's like 10 levels for every element. And also we have like smooth turn. So in this layer, I don't need to build anything. So if I want to get here and start to grow something, I can say, okay, let's build more stairs here. So probably a good place to build it would be here. Oh, this direction. And then, uh, okay, let's do it like this again wrong and like this and you can see they start to move they pick this soil it's like five soils three soils each stair take uh, five soils so you, you, if you dig the whole square it takes it's like ten soils and if you build the stairs it's only five so I can let him to dig then this another one okay more so let's take this one and this one we can control the priority here i got some debug info but i can say okay this is the priority to build it's allowing to control that and we have here each of the character and we can define what is the main job they're doing right now they have a digging but i can say okay this lady is going to be the primary one for cutting down you can see a lot of debug still here and uh, we will have this guy to do construction and this guy also after he finished the construction he will do the production okay we have some help here in this moment in the game and we expanding that this is online help so we can expand that independently on the, the releasing of the game Okay, we are almost built here, so let's do one more step here. Let's get to the level of water. Okay, we need to speed up this one. All right, we are almost there. And now let's plant some trees. So we have now in this moment like um, three different type of trees and they differ by how long they are growing and how long uh, how much food they will bring so i can start to cut down this tree okay and that will bring us some basic wood all right and then we're going to plant here a small forest 
Uh, we are really focusing in the game to make it like very easy for the people to use and not have so much clicking. So, for example, if you select a tree, if it's not planted yet, but you can define that if it's automatically cut down. So when the tree will grow, it will automatically be marked to be cut down like this one, which I can do here. And, and also we can mark here that it should be replanted. So this is a nice feature. You don't need to then every time go and mark trees to be cut down. You don't need to then mark to be uh, placed again. It will be automatic once you place something. This is a default mode for any tree or any vegetable. Uh, and once we will have in the game that the characters will need to eat and sleep, uh, we will definitely need to focus on the beginning of the game to bring some food into the game so the characters can eat. So I can demonstrate it here. You can grow here some vegetable. All right, so we built some resources, although there is a lot of resources already. Um, so let's build us the path here. Let's go this way. Uh, we can should start to build some basic uh, storage system. So we can build those storages. Uh, we can filter. We can say, okay, this will be only soil. And this one, probably it would be more logical to build it close to the trees. So I will build here two storages and I will say they are for wood. Okay. Wood storages. Okay, yeah, they found the way they're here, but uh, you know, I want them to go smoothly. And now let's start to build some first factory. So we're going to build it. This is a good place. Uh, there is uh, the water is very important in the game. As you can see, the ground have different colors. So uh, if you click on it, you can see there is something called moisture, and the moisture is simply defining the effects of what will happen in that field. Uh, so. Uh, it's described here. This is not cut, but if you have high moisture, there is like minimum 20% of the moisture is required for uh, the basic uh, trees and uh, vegetable. It will be different. Like we will don't have wheat, but we will have rice, and rice will be requiring to be completely underwater. But the moisture defining um, if it's something growing and if it's very high moisture, it's not good for the factories. It will slow them down. This is another major element in the game. As you can see, the factories are not uh, buildings, but they are actually, okay, let's define the production size so and let's lay some planks or, oh, okay, let's stay storage count. So I want to have like always 20 of them here. So um, the moisture will affect and the weather, sorry, the weather will have the effect. So if it will be raining, it will have negative effect on the, factory so you need to have roofs and if there will be sandstorm which will be probably quite often you will need to have walls so by that uh, and I cannot show you that in this moment but by that you will uh, you will need to build some structures that will have walls doors and uh, layers of different uh, uh, levels of power so uh, let me show you that what I mean with power so here I can now build a factory and as I don't want to really go through the full gameplay, I will switch to the editor where I can place things without them being constructed. So you can see we have in the editor much more things prepared. This is because it's not fully 100% tested, so it's uh, not in the demo yet, but I can build here the power source. This is currently we have only the windmill. And um, if I build a factory, for example, this one, it requires the power. Or, uh, yep, let's start with this one. It is not working, it's not connected to the power, and it's like torque and there is zero. So what I need to do is to connect it. And I can connect it with the torque rods, or the bells actually themselves will not work unless you connect them to the power. So all you need to do is to connect them with the power. There are like power connectors. And if I will do this, I can distribute the power also to the factory. So now I can see that this factory is under the power system, it's a torque. We will have the torque, steam and electricity. That's what we plan right now. Maybe it will be change. I can see the power system. So I can see 
what are in this power system, what are the factories connected to it. And now this factory, I can select production. I can produce planks, which is the same thing that I can produce in this small manual factory, but this one is manual and this one is automatic. What does it mean is that I can, and you can see those arrows. This is the points where I can bring uh, resources in and this is the output. So I can build here this platform. I can build here this belt. Let's fake some storage here so I can place here. This is for our testing purpose. I have here the food and now I don't have power here so I can connect it with the rod. Okay, this is now connected and uh, should start to bring me the food here. Of course, it's not working when I want to show it. Okay, but fine, that's in the demo. But uh, what we want to do here, let me try, it should work. Let's do it the opposite. This, is, this will not be in the game, this is just for our testing purposes. Yeah, it doesn't work. Okay, but I can bring here the wood and it will start to automatically produce the planks and uh, it will output the planks here. So I will need to connect the belt here. Um, the belts are not only in one direction. I can move up and down so I can build the belts like that. So this is like fully structured. I have here like full system of platforms. So in this level, for example, I can build the platforms here. I can build a whole row like this. So not here. Um, so you can see that by this I will build the bridges and I can build on top of them another layer of platforms. Where I can then place the belts. So generally the idea is that I have a place to go here and there is iron. I can mine the iron. I can send it on the belts here. I will probably build a factory. I will connect it to the power source. There will be uh, one character will be mining the iron. Other character will be mining, will be bringing like wood. And uh, we can from that build the iron in this furnace. So I can turn the iron ore into the iron. Yep, so this is like iron. I will get from one iron ore, 10 irons, and then I can build a bridge. That's generally the end of the level here. Um, water, okay, the water is in already very good shape. You can see it's a flowing water. I can control how much water, I can play with that a lot. And I show the game to some people, they mainly love to play with the water. So I can, for example, do something like this. Ah, uh, okay, I know why this is not working because I have the game paused. Okay, so cool. Yeah, so we can see this is producing now. Okay, yeah, that's a bug that those belts are not stopping the post mod. All right, so we see the production, this is producing, and I can do similar thing here with the furnace. I can do the similar thing here with the furnace. I can bring in the iron ore and turn it into the iron. This is cool. Now let's play with the water so we can see that I did rise the terrain here. Okay, and it start to overflow. And I can play with that more. You can see it's reacting. And I have some water flowing out. And I can close it, I can open here the path and it will go down so it's fully reacting on the how much water I have here I can close this I can go and I can for example modify the terrain and now I can open this and the water will flow in very nicely and so on and so on like it's it's there like the water is it's nice and it's moving like we still have some work to do you can see that the moisture here it's start to be like it's changed the color it's also the manifestation of the moisture this is like zero moisture and you can see how is it's changing over the time 
it's it's beautiful it's beautiful i'm i'm really excited that how this thing is going and the water is 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 functional so generally this is our game like the plans are to have the characters to manage the characters take care of the food for them and uh, build a lot of different structure i want to show you the wall system so what we have a little bit unique in our game is that the walls are not the squares but on the borders of the squares so i can build uh, walls like that the same thing is with the power system you can see that it's on the it's between the cells uh, and i like it that way a lot because it doesn't mean that uh, you need to like lose the whole cell just to build the power through because there will be a lot of those small things and then we will be we don't have it yet we will be able to put another layer and uh, i can just simulate it now with the platforms but that's not how it will go in the final game so yep, i can build the levels like that and i have here some doors i hope yep oh it's in very basic <laughs> it's a, some package that we buy so this is where we're heading with the game i hope uh, i will be able to show you much better version in another three months and we intend go to the early access and uh yeah i think this will be very nice game i'm, I'm really excited as i play those type of games and this is a combination of all the games that i like and i hope it will be kind of like dream game for me thank you for watching the video bye bye